Greetings, everyone, and welcome to R. Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss the topics of Robert Sylvester Kelly and the Brooklyn and Chicago trial. Great rising, friends. Great rising. You are now listening to the August podcast because it's all about us in August. So today I want to let you know that we will be on tonight, August the 3rd at 6 p.m., to discuss the motion that Bonjean filed that is very pertinent to this Chicago trial coming up August 15th. The premiere is a must watch. I want to say this also before I leave out today. Um, I want you to know that we here at R. Kelly Appeal TV are chosen during this time to support Robert Sylvester Kelly we are facing critical times, and in this world, we have to know what we believe in, why we believe in it. This is one of those times, I mean, our parents didn't get to see this. They didn't have to deal with the R. Kelly case, the horrific way that we're seeing the criminal justice system work, although they did deal with it because they dealt with it through racism. We have to deal with this. Our grandparents didn't deal with this, but they dealt with other things. So our future grandbabies may hear about this case, the R. Kelly, you know, sex scandals, maybe even be controlled in the media about what is said about him. But it is up to each one to make the decision to choose what they believe. And hope, hopefully they will learn through research why they believe what they believe and how they believe it. It is a pertinent time, everyone. And there is also displaced trauma through hearing and seeing the traumatic events go on in this world. Not just the trauma we face when seeing a man such as Robert Sylvester Kelly be negatively impacted by the forces of wickedness and laws that are created to take down influential people, or that the control of money, it's not even about that. It is the silent trauma that creates outrage, and the only way we are able to sometimes control it is to either self-medicate or act out in anger. Well, I'm here to tell you this is a trick. It's an anomaly of our illusion. Our lies is telling, our eyes are telling lies to our reality. So don't fall for the okie doke today. We must stay grounded and centered in what we believe and just know that we know what we, what we know because the local, national, and international and global occurrences everywhere is sometimes sad to hear. And we take that into our spirit and walk with us, with that spirit, with the people we meet every day. Yet we must understand that just as the pandemic washed many physical beings from the earth, mother nature is doing the very same thing. So we don't know if the news is real or if it is fake unless we are there. So we must know that we are chosen to be in this place, in this space, and in this time at this very moment. When we understand that we are here on this channel for a particular reason and us to learn through research and learn how to study and effectively show yourself as approved when you communicate, we know what it is. It's not about competition on YouTube. It's not about messiness, but true connection in favor of justice and success-driven focus. So God bless you on your day today. If you're an early riser, salute to you. We are awesome. <laughs> then you are on to something. So see you tonight at 6 p.m. for the premiere. As always, keep it 100, and we'll see you next time.